At the University of Washington, students participating in a graduate level nursing program are significantly affecting and changing the health of populations and communities, locally, nationally, and even internationally. I have a strong belief that uh, nurses have a responsibility to influence policy, whether they be community or public health nurses or whether they be any kind of a nurse. We're interested in promoting the health and well-being of communities, um, not just at the biological health level, but economic health and viability, social health and viability, connectedness. Our work is really about facilitating the the, the growth of communities to meet their health needs and concerns. Primary care practitioners, public health and hospitals simply cannot take care of all of the issues involved in growing older and in managing a chronic disease. That needs to happen in the community, but it needs to happen with health practitioner guidance. It's nice to know that the career path that I've chosen is making a difference in the everyday lives of people, of patients, of communities, um, of organizations, but what it boils down to is um, people. As a collective, as nurses, we have a great deal of power. We're very well respected in, by the public, and there's a lot we can do to wield that power. It's critically important for nurses to understand how policy is developed, how to analyze policy, and how to advocate for evidence-based policy. I get excited about the prospect of other people learning more about health policy because we need more people who are experts in health policy. An internationally recognized faculty prepares students for advanced practice in community health nursing at both the master's and the doctoral levels. Our community health nursing faculty is really, really quite dedicated to promoting social justice in the context of health. This program is fantastic in that my colleagues, my professors, the School of Nursing have all been so supportive. The emphasis on working together, the emphasis on really digging deeper every, with every question and with every problem. Our faculty represent multiple ethnic diversities and we work deliberately uh, with various uh, ethnic populations. We have a lot of resources and we have three campuses so students are able to meet many faculty with expertise in their area. I mainly teach the uh, occupational environmental health nursing courses. My specialty in anthropology is medical anthropology and applied anthropology. I have students all over the Puget Sound area working in tribal communities. I think nursing is really an exciting profession and I think it's getting even more exciting with the different types of things that are opening up, especially um, with global health. Some of the work I've done in terms of domestic work here in the United States has been working with underserved populations. I've done some work in Caracas in the urban areas of um, Venezuela, working with street children. I do a lot of teaching in community health nursing. I also do research with immigrant population. The curriculum offers an expansive program that includes courses in nursing and other disciplines and that provides students with the freedom to follow their interests and passions. Students in our program take our core curriculum. In addition to that, they have a variety of electives. What surprised me the most about this program was probably how um, interdisciplinary the program is. I like that um, I have the freedom to take classes in the School of Public health, um, the School of Public Affairs. When we go out into the real world, you know, we don't work just among a bunch of nurses. We work, you know, with people from all sorts of disciplines. So I think it's a great chance to be able to meet different people in all sorts of different fields and get lots of different perspectives. We aren't simply talking about being multidisciplinary in our work. We're being educated in a multidisciplinary fashion and that, that's both supported and encouraged. Community health nursing is a, uh, I think, a, a liberating kind of, of activity. You have, the, you have a great deal of um, independence. It's an adventure. It's an adventuresome kind of work um, with a, lot, a, a fair amount of freedom and flexibility. The graduate programs in community health nursing prepare students to serve as leaders in various capacities in community settings. Their responsibilities include such things as community health promotion, 
policy and program development and evaluation, and administrative roles in public and private organizations. After graduating, our students really have the world at their feet. There's a lot of fantastic organizations here in the greater Pacific Northwest that are movers and shakers in the world of global health. And the University of Washington is connected to these organizations. This is definitely a field that's expanding and, and people are looking for nurses that bring the health science background with them into the public health and community health and just the blend of that makes them a unique um, individual that can really enhance their, their program efforts. There are uh, now opening up uh, a number of positions uh, that are uh, really exciting new challenging areas to be working that pay very well. It allowed me to meet people that I still am friends with and I can tell you that every job I've had since has been through a connection I made while I was a grad student. Nurses who have uh, language capabilities and are fluent in other languages are also in an excellent position to work in community public health. The University of Washington is a world-class research university with many global and local partners. This university is a wonderful place. University of Washington School of Nursing is ranked number one in research. So that really is a draw for many students. University of Washington is an incredible school for nursing education. Seattle is an upbeat, urban, cosmopolitan city. You have easy access to Vancouver, Portland, mountains, snow, skiing, um, beautiful weather in the summer. Choosing to come to UW has been, it was a really good choice and I'm really thankful that I did it. I think the degree does empower you in a way to make changes that you weren't able to make before because you're learning, you're, you're gaining new knowledge and wisdom and you're again able to put that into action. So you are developing a confidence in your practice. It's giving me a lot of tools and more than that, it's giving me the ability to find tools and evaluate how useful I think they would be. I would say in a nutshell, it's just making some sort of difference in the world that might have a lasting and meaningful impact. Prepare yourself to have a voice in the health of communities in new and unique ways by expanding your career through the University of Washington Community Health Nursing Programs. I love working in programs that give such variety that I'm never bored. I'm currently part of the Nurse Family Partnership and that is an amazing program to work with because we work with young mothers who are having their first baby and our goal is to improve their outcomes in life. What could be better than that? We need all kinds of nurses, but I'm always excited about people who, who get turned on to community public health nursing. And when I see that happen or when students talk about it with me, that's really fulfilling. We spend 97% of the health care dollar doing something for less than 20% of the nation's health. If you want to make change, if you want to serve your country, community health nursing is really the only way to do it. <laughs>
are based on um, these long-standing community relationships. In addition, we have, we the faculty, have connections with our former students throughout the state and with colleagues at other schools and universities so that there are many opportunities for, for our students. And what they don't see on the surface, what they don't read in a brochure, sometimes we're able to invent for them because of the strength of our faculty and the strength of our school. The opportunities for community health nursing students in the Seattle region are endless, from working with the public health department to working with immigrant populations or the elderly. In Seattle's Chinatown district, students from the community health nursing programs are working with a community organization called the Chinese Information and Service Center that supports Chinese and other Asian immigrants. Part of the reason why we're partnering with CISC is that we could add um, on to using our expertise to, to address health issues in addition to whatever the service they are providing right now. That particular agency provides programs for young children but also elderly, so students really had a variety of choices and so they can work with different populations um, that fit with their own interests and but also the cultural aspect really uh, was was really helpful to my, my students because they, none of them had the experience towards the Chinese population. And what, what do you do when you have a health question? The neat thing about the agency is that it was started by a few college students years ago who wanted to help their elders who were immigrants. And it's evolved into this multi-purpose, all-ages assistance for Chinese immigrants. And I was able to participate in the preschool and in Sunshine Garden, which is their daycare for elderly immigrants. And so I, I saw the whole spectrum, and it was really wonderful. I had the chance to see how important it is for them to keep learning and that they want to assimilate as immigrants. I respect them so much for their um, attitude of wanting to keep learning and keeping an open mind to all the new experiences. I particularly enjoyed learning about marginalized peoples and our obligation as um, often people of privilege to help and to serve those who have the least first and um, to try to bring people up to some common level of health. In South Seattle, in a community called South Park, students in community health nursing partner with community agencies to bring important services to the elderly and disabled. South Park is built on this ever-broadening set of community partners, and our whole program is built on partnerships. The neatest thing about that, about working in South Park, is that we can do community-based participatory research, which is a relatively new way of doing community health and community health nursing. We can do it in South Park because the grassroots relationships are so powerful. In my work in health promotion, disease prevention, cross-culturally, I always get to work with a team. You guys give up great ideas, and we just try to find ways to make them happen. I work at a facility that is senior low-income housing, and it's independent living, so it's apartments. What I've been doing with my colleague is meeting with the residents on a regular basis, getting to know their needs, and trying to help them, acting as advocates, acting as collaborators, to really help them help, help themselves. And one of the needs brought up by the residents is the need for a safe and sheltered bus stop close to their housing. What surprised me at South Park is the willingness of residents to open up, to really make an impact on people's health and people's lives. I've got to go upstream. I've got to affect the change at a higher level. My real interest lies in public policies and program development that will really help large groups of people become healthy and stay healthy. Prepare yourself to have a voice in community health improvement by expanding your career through the University of Washington Community Health Nursing Programs.